Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in this one we're going to be talking about all the new creatures coming in the next patch of Ark. Uh, for PC it's coming out on the 21st and I think it's probably coming around the same date for Xbox, I'm not even sure, I don't really look at their patch notes. Anyway, we're going to be talking about all these guys, so if you guys enjoy this video make sure that you guys beat the absolute crap out of that like button, I just noticed something here. Um, he's like, <laughs> he has like two extended fingers, he's like giving a peace sign, that's awesome dude. <laughs> So this is the Pe Pezo Ma Mass Tax, I believe. Pezo Mass Tax. I think I called it Mass Tracks before somebody called me out. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is it here. It looks freaking amazing. Like, look, look at those molars in there. Holy crap. That looks awesome. Wait, let's just get in there a little bit. Ooh, see that? That looks great. Uh, so yeah, this guy is like a small herbivore, and he's going to be able to collect seeds and uh, different bits like that as well. He's mostly probably going to be for like early game. You're not really going to need these guys, uh, unless I guess you might be able to put them on pass or no, what is it, wander, and then like have them wander around a little bit. Maybe they'll collect them themselves. That'd be pretty cool. I mean, like kind of useful if they destroy bushes in your base. That actually could be pretty good. These guys could be like gardeners. I'm not even sure if they do that. This is not confirmed at all. I'm just so distracted by those molars. They look disgusting. <laughs> His face, I don't know. It kind of looks, it kind of reminds me of like a zombie face or something. Because like the pink there, it's like stretch, stretch skin or something. It looks really cool. But um, he has all these like, these, I guess, little pointy spikes on his back. Like, like a porcupine or like a, uh, well not a hedgehog. They're not that long. But um. That looks pretty cool. Obviously, that's to protect himself a little bit because this guy is at the bottom of the food chain. And, uh, yeah, basically, he's going to just be fodder, really, you know? You're going to just be able to kill these guys left, right, and center. They mostly travel by themselves as well. So that's some cool information. Let's take a look at the animations here. So you've got Bite there. He's charging there. This one here is the Cuddle one. <laughs> it looks awesome. Um, this one here, I believe he's just eating. So that looks really derpy, actually, the way he's eat. He, like, scoops up with his, with his bottom jaw. Wow, what could be, like, a funny name for one of these guys? I don't even know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is jumping um, right here. I don't know. Oh, this one was pooping, I believe. No, that was egg lay, even. Uh, and this one was pooping, I believe. Or may maybe they're the same. Yeah, I think I may have put two of the same one in. I'm sorry. This one right here is Roar. They have like a Roar animation, which was kind of weird. And then the last one here is Swim, which you can kind of tell. But uh, these guys are pretty cool. I like them. They're super small. Um, obviously, you know, the, the sizing and everything in the dev kit is not always the exact size in the game. But this guy is just about to be released, so I can't imagine he's going to be much different. And uh, <laughs> obviously, these guys are actually pretty small anyway. So, yeah, that's him there. And he's wearing little little blue socks and... And gloves as well. <laughs> looks so, looks so cool. But uh, yeah. Anyway, this is the uh, this is the Trudon. You can see him beside the uh, Archaeopteryx. And then I put a compy here too, just for a size comparison, because I actually thought he looked quite like a uh, one of these guys, the Archaeopteryx. And um, I don't know. I think it's probably because of the eye and like the face a little bit. But you know, obviously this guy has feathers and everything. This guy has a couple feathers, not wings though. And uh, yeah, he looks really freaking cool. His claws, they're like bent back. What the hell, man? <laughs> so yeah, this this thing is really awesome. Um, he's he's really small though. Um, I actually thought he'd be a little bit smaller, like the size of a compy, perhaps maybe. But uh, yeah, that's that's him anyway. These are all of his animations. So you can see it's bite, charge. Uh, that is the I think that's the cuddle one. No, that's the eat one. I don't think he has a cuddle one. That's that's jump. Um, this is just like poop. Walk forward. Oh, actually, wait, no. I think this one was sneak. This one was, like, charge. And then this is swimming here. Oh, dude, those eyes are, like, awesome looking. The detail. That looks great. Oh, my God. <laughs> actually, they do have, like, little wings. I didn't notice that over here. Oh, it's because of that one there. It kind of blocked it out. Yeah, they have tiny little wings, I guess. So maybe they'll have, like, reduced fall, fall damage, perhaps. Although, actually, you can't ride them, so it doesn't make a difference. Anyway... This is the Therizinosaurus, and I'm super excited for this guy right here because he's like Wolverine. He's like Wolverine of Ark. You can't not call one of these things Logan or Wolverine or whatever. <laughs> it looks so cool. He's so tall as well, but I don't know. Like, this could be the actual height, but he's pretty freaking tall. I'm not sure how big these things are actually meant to be in, like, real life, but uh, he's he's pretty big. 
I'd actually probably say he's like the size of like an aloe, maybe. Maybe a little bit bigger, like taller anyway. I mean, like his back there doesn't really go up very high, but his neck goes up super high. Super awesome looking. And then these are his attacks or animations even. That's bite there. This is like terrifying. Like that would just rip you to shreds. <laughs> he is literally Wolverine. Oh, that is so awesome. I'm excited for this guy. Like I never would have thought I would have been, but like just as soon as you see those claws, you just you just want one, you know? You just want one of these giant chickens. That's him charging there. That is terrifying. That's like Wolverine just charging in for like to fight with the X-Men or something. I don't even know. <laughs> oh. Check him. Oh, look, look. He's scratching the ground. Little guy. <laughs> oh. That's him laying an egg. This is him just being like a pimp turkey guy. Just walking around. <laughs> and then this one, I don't, I don't even know. It's swimming, but like if you just ignore his legs and look at his hands, it makes it a lot better. He looks so funny. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he's like, he's really cool though. I like this guy. He's great. Wait, what are his feet like? Are they like shark claws as well? No, not really, I guess. But uh, yeah, these guys are going to be like super quick. Um, They're going to be pretty fast that you can harvest fiber with them as well and some other resources i believe as well but they don't have very much weight though and um they're also really really good for combat because these claws can apparently and actually you know what not even apparently it's kind of evident these things would shred your armor they apparently go right through like the same thing as the um as the manta i believe so that's gonna be super fun and actually you know what i realized that i didn't even talk about the uh the trudon this guy here is super smart, so you're going to be able to actually tame these guys with, you don't tame them with narcotic, obviously, you tame them by feeding your pets to them, and I believe the main one is the dodo. I just noticed the neck there, that looks so cool. <laughs> so you basically, for these guys, you, you sacrifice your pets, and they kind of gain your trust, I guess. And uh, yeah, these guys are also really good for combat, because they will paralyze your enemies, and um, I mean, that in itself is pretty good. But they also provide a poison effect. So if you have a, go a good few of these guys against something that loses stamina quick, you know, just poison that thing and then and then let it run <laughs> away from this tiny little menace. Oh, uh, how big is it actually compared to a human? No, uh, kind of like waist height, I guess. That's cool. But uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna move on to the uh, the little kraken guy down here. I guess we didn't actually didn't show off this one here. So that's him waking up from taming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this is the Kraken right here. Looks pretty cool. So let's just do a little fly here. Let's have a look. Though Those spikes are just terrifying. That would just tear you to shreds. Oh my god. But uh, yeah, then he's got his little he's got his little mouth down here. I believe they're actually called beaks on the uh, squids. Oh, he's even got teeth in here. Oh, what's what's in here? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's that's cool. I feel like we need one of these to be like a Sarlacc pit, you know, from Star Wars. <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. But uh, yeah, so this is the giant squid. I'm a big fan of this guy. I can't wait to actually try him out. He's got his little little ears there. They're probably not ears, but still. And he's got his massive eyes, which just look awesome. I feel like the eyes need to be used for something, like a Kraken's eye for something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> looks amazing and then these are all the animations here let's actually just do a little bit of a fly through here because we kind of want to see like the inside the beak doesn't seem to be moving in this one here but this one is attack as you can see his little his little talons at the very end there the little spiky bits i guess that like drain the blood they help drain the blood and they just there was things would just impale you completely and he's only got two of those so yeah, I guess that's a little bit better for, a little bit more reassuring for uh, fighting one of these guys. Because imagine if he had like eight or ten of those. Well, I guess he'd have like eight. Wait, no, octopus have eight. How many things does he have here? Oh, he's got ten. Okay, fair enough. Imagine if he had like ten of those things, though. That would be terrifying. But uh, yeah, this is his, uh, I believe this is the grab animation. So uh, he kind of just wraps all of his tentacles around you. And this is probably when, oh, look, the mouth is opening. Look at that. See that? Oh, that's kind of, that's like a jump scare. I feel like we need to use that somehow as like a jump scare. Okay, let's move back here a little bit so you can actually see. Yeah, check him out though. That is so cool. Let's, uh, tentacles everywhere. <laughs> it is amazing. Oh, I can't wait for this guy. He's going to be fantastic. 
he's he's probably gonna be the first one I'm gonna tame. Those those freaking little talons at the very end. They're probably not even called talons, but still. I believe this is the part of the eat animation. Or at, no no no, this is the this is the end of the grab animation. And then this is the eat animation. Which is super cool. Like it's not as fast, it's super slow. I like that. Does his little mini mouth open when you when he's eating? No, it doesn't really. I feel like that should be used a little bit more. Like when he's eating especially. Yeah, so you can see it there. Um, right here. One of these was the ink spray. Sometimes the animations get duplicated, and it's not usually my fault. Because when I place a new one, somehow the old one gets duplicated. I don't know. I think this one here is the, is the uh, egg lay. Don't even know where it would come out of. Probably his head somehow. But uh, yeah, really freaking awesome. And then this is him swimming forward. As you can see, he's not really moving very much. You see, like, I guess he's just very, um, would you even call it aerodyne? aerodynamic is that even the word that you'd use for like the water I don't know but he's like he can move super quick he's like a freaking torpedo look at his head <laughs> like he's so slim like he just glides straight through the water he's gonna be unfortunately he's not gonna be super quick but uh he looks like he's gonna have a smooth ride <laughs> what's in here can we go no we can't okay cool and then this is his last animation here and I can't remember which one this one was. I think this might be the ink spray. But uh, yeah, super freaking cool. And then check this out. I uh, I may have made a little <laughs> a little something down here just for fun. Um, so we have a mosasaur just for sizing as well. We have a mosasaur, and I put one of these guys just around his neck just to see. And uh, yeah, he, this guy could like strangle a mosasaur, which would be super cool. Um, I guess we we could even make this guy even bigger. You know what we might do that <laughs> let's have a little bit of fun here so if we use this one here and make him super big you can make a little, little bit wider though that looks about right and then up no that was too much I think we dragged two in the very first one there cool and let's pull this around here and uh, I guess we can move him back to like hold on to the center of the Mosa Let's see. Okay. It's looking good. Oh, dude, that is so cool. Obviously, some of the tentacles are going inside, but, you know, whatever. He probably could do that. He's a giant, giant kraken. <laughs> oh, let's have a little play here then. So if I go like this really quick. Um, and then go like this. There we go. Amazing. I know how to dev kit now, okay? I'm a pro. No, not really. Um, yeah, that looks really cool. Unfortunately, they're probably not going to be that size. That's probably the accurate size over there. Um, but yeah, it's like just the derpiness. I feel like mod devs will have a blast with this guy making like giant ones that you have to fight in the water. Oh, that's so cool. I, I should have pushed him back a little bit further so those like stuck right onto him. But man, either way, pretty freaking cool. Cannot wait for this guy. He's going to be super cool. The Trudon is going to be a really interesting tame. Um, the Pego is probably going to be the last one I'm going to tame. He's not very interesting right now. Early on, he's probably really, really cool. But, um, yeah, I, not so much right now. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, he's, he's probably pretty useful. You guys could definitely find a use for him. Um, especially if he could wander around and actually collect the seeds and uh, berries and whatnot without having to actually do anything. But uh, I, I guarantee he doesn't have very much weight, though. I don't know. Like, he's going to be... I guess he's going to be cool. Uh, but, yeah, definitely excited for this guy. His cool, unique um, taming is going to be amazing. Like, the way that you have to sacrifice creatures to him. And then this thing right here is going to be freaking cool. So, like, three amazing creatures. And then one kind of mediocre one. But, like, then again, he could really turn out to actually be quite useful. So, anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys want to see more like this, you can subscribe. We've got a couple more Arc Dev Kit videos on the channel. We've got a couple Let's Play videos as well. We're about to start a new season of Vanilla. You guys can check that out, and we're going to be covering all of this stuff later on this month, so uh, make sure that you subscribe if you want to see all that. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll catch you guys next time.